In this video, I'm going to explain the steps that you should take if you want to share your Minecraft world online or with friends. For some reason, I haven't been able to find any other tutorials on this, so I thought it might be useful to some people. For example, let's say I have a world and I want to share it online because it's super awesome. In fact, let me give you a quick tour. So this is my world. This is just a little house I've been working on. Still pretty basic as you can see, but it's got some cool features which I'll show you now. We've got a bed over here, we've got a couple of furnaces, we've got a chest. We've got some lava in the corner just for chucking stuff out, you know, stuff that you don't want. Down here we have the secret dungeon. Obviously it's a bit small, so I will probably, you know, eventually expand this out, make it a bit taller. Oh no, 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 stop, 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 stop. Thankfully I keep most of my items in this chest here and that means that if I ever do need to move house I can just extend the rail and bring all my items with me What? Alright, I hope you enjoyed that now. Let's get back to the tutorial Before we leave Minecraft there are a few things we have to do in game First we should set the world spawn so that players will respawn in the desired start location when they die Next we need to clear out our inventory and wipe our experience to give players a fresh start the easiest way to do this is to shift click on destroy item in creative mode and then die. Fortunately we already set the world spawn so we respawn right where we want to be. This is important since anyone else playing the world in single player will start at the player's current location. Finally, let's make sure that we're in the right game mode. Whatever game mode we're currently using will also be used when anyone else plays this world in single player. Once we've done all that, we can quit Minecraft and open our saves folder. From here, you should make a copy of your world since we're going to be deleting some files that other players won't need. For the purpose of this video, we'll modify the copy and leave the original world intact. So, let's open up the world folder. I'll talk you through each of the files we're going to delete. Advancements contains all the advancements that we've unlocked. Player data contains all our items and other data associated with our Minecraft user. Stats contains all the statistics that the game tracks like distance walked, time played, etc. Level.dat old is a backup that the game generates in case the world gets corrupted. And since we don't need any of these, let's go ahead and delete them. There's one more step if the world is going to be hosted on a server. If someone loads the world in single player, they will use whatever game mode we set earlier. But if someone joins the world when it's being hosted by a server, they'll use whatever game mode was set when the world was first created. To change this game mode, we need to open up level.dat with an nbt editor. You can download one of these for free and I'll put a link in the description. Look for game type and change it to 0 for survival, 1 for creative or 2 for adventure, then hit save. If you want to, you can change the thumbnail to a custom image and add a readme. And that's it. We just need to zip up the folder and it's ready to be shared.